The following upload is scheduled for three minutes and it's brought to you by Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where it is always prolific, consistent, and dedicated with the latest shocking details on John Cena, where he's going, what he wants to do, and what the WWE has planned. WWE superstar John Cena may get a bad rap for burying talent, but this is not something he wants to be known for. He wants to be known as a guy these days who helps younger talent. We've seen in recent months that Cena has worked with a lot of new or younger guys, whether it be in a full-on rivalry or in one-off matches. This is seemingly by design. According to Daily Wrestling News, John Cena has been much more vocal lately about giving younger talent an opportunity and more spotlight. This is not surprising, considering the amount of young talent he has either put over or made to look good. People like Kevin Owens and Cesaro alone have benefited from Cena's backstage voice. John Cena has improved his moveset. John Cena has adjusted in time and has become one of the most improved wrestlers ever since his United States Championship Open Challenge. While some will cite that the recent tap out for Kevin Owens at the hands of Cena as contraction to this, it is not. While John Cena can say something all day long, WWE management will eventually want to see something different. Regardless of what Cena may want to do, he often time has to do the finish he is asked to do. Most WWE superstars and divas have to. While matches as a whole are usually done by talent on their own, the type of finish and what goes on uh, excuse me, what goes over tends to be controlled by management or creative. This is a common rule. Anyone who disobeys the order is going to be in trouble for it, even John Cena. John Cena does not make up the rules and who wins and who loses. Because if it were that case, if John Cena went up to these superstars and said, hey, look, I'm going to win this match. I'm going to bury you. I'm going to make you look horrible. Don't you think there would be a lot more disruptions? Don't you think there would be a lot more fights? Don't you think there will be a lot more eruptions backstage? I mean, John Cena does not run the WWE. He's not the owner. He's not 50% in with the company. He's not the boss's daughter. He's not a son. All he is is doing what he's asked of. I've said this years and years. Sure, there are certain points where John Cena may have brought up scenarios that could have helped or scenarios that should help. We all know what happened with SummerSlam 2010. But we are way beyond that now. John Cena goes in there, he busts his ass, he has improved his moveset. John Cena is one of the most resilient, he is one of the most fightingest United States champion of all time. And John Cena is doing a hell of a lot good for the mid-card. He's given the, the mid-card a good name and reputation. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe.